Hello agents, and welcome to Intruder Update 1757. As long detailed in the development roadmap, this update finally brings more player progression and customization with unlockable items for the new item cache system. We've also got a new version of the Intruder Silence Pistol, now codenamed the Panther. Since the last video update, we have massively improved ragdoll, grenade, and environment model physics. This is a big one, so let's check it all out. Last video update, we showed off player progression, XP, and leveling. At the end of each match, you are rewarded XP and level increases for your accomplishments via the match summary screen. You'll notice something new there with this update. Check out the preview marker at the end of each level. When you pass this point and level up, you'll acquire new items for your item cache. There are a wide variety of item types, including new weapon skins, red dot sights, sniper reticles, arm patches, detonation sounds, hats, and more. To equip these items, you'll need to access your item cache. The item cache can be found on the main menu here, or from the team select menu when you join a match here. Now let's take a look at the new items. Click any item in your item cache to inspect it in the viewer. From here you can equip or unequip items or preview sound effects. With certain items, you can click and drag to get a 360 degree view. Here you can see we unlocked a weapon skin, a red dot reticle, a sniper reticle, the new wall tags, an arm patch, and various other item types. Let's equip some before our next mission. You'll notice the room creation menu has some new options available. This new item cache dropdown lets you determine what items are available for use in your room. You can choose a combination of item customizations and cosmetics, wall tags, and hats for your room. And if you'd prefer a totally pure intruder experience, you can disallow all item cache items or customizations with the none option. After equipping some of these, you may notice the intruder's silence pistol has gotten a major facelift. The new Panther pistol gives the intruders not only something that looks better, but plays better too. Besides being one of the first weapons to support item skins, you'll notice the suppressor has a different shape from the old intruder pistol. A frequent complaint throughout intruder's development and playtesting has been the pistol's suppressor actually blocking the vision of the sights. You can see that here. While some people got used to this, it's obviously not ideal. The new site offers a high visibility U-shape along with a lower profile suppressor for a clear vision of your target. Thank you Jake, Brian, and Martino for the awesome art and technical work here. Besides some sweet new looks and sounds, some of the new items can offer greater tactical depth to the more experienced intruder players. Check out the red dot sights or some of the advanced sniper reticles like the Rangefinder Plus or grid reticle. The item cache was implemented using Steam's inventory system. This makes it really easy for us to add new items or change details on existing ones. You may notice each item belongs to a different rarity tier. Right now blue borders denote commons, lime green uncommon, orange rares, and purples very rare. You may find other rarity types in the future as well. Also, thanks to Steam, the items you've acquired are open for trading and for use in the Steam marketplace. Members of Secret Base Alpha have already been trading items during testing, and it's been a lot of fun. There's a lot to dig into and find with the new items and item cache, but we hope it helps you show off your skills and better customize your tactical experience. Synchronizing physics in multiplayer games always brings some complications, and Intruder was not spared any of those. Intruder is known for its balance system in ragdolls. It's a huge part of the gameplay. 
In the past, only the pelvis of each player was synchronized with other players. This led to some strange gameplay situations though, sometimes with massive desync between players. Other players would frequently shoot your body when you thought you had fallen behind cover, getting you killed when you should have been safe. Situations like these pushed us to rebuild our physics networking from scratch. Using some crazy maths, we managed to get full ragdoll and limb synchronization. Another side benefit of the new physics code is improved grenade and environment model physics syncing as well. Many of the chairs on official maps were kept stuck in place before due to synchronization issues. But with the new physics system, that's no longer a problem. Sync chairs knocked out of position could provide you with useful cover that can save your life. You can even send them rocketing into your opponents with some well-placed remote charges, like this. We're eager to see what else we can do with our new physics code in future updates. For map makers, we've also got some major new updates to the Intruder MM Unity package. Version 2.05 introduces a load of new features created by Jake with some help from Clore. Hey guys, this is Jake with some of the new Intruder MM updates I've been working on. Version 2.05 introduces a load of new features, that of which include new editor functionality for a ton of scripts, a new scene toolbar, player models to represent spawn points, a new Saber CSG volume, and more. Now, as you can see here, we're currently in the Unity Editor. Isn't it wonderful? As you can probably tell straight away, we have a new toolbar at the bottom here. You can test your map, upload your map, and if you click this button, it takes you to the Superboss Games Discord server where you can ask for help in the map maker chat. And then we also have this button on the very right here where you can spawn some intruder specific prefabs such as uh, intruder spawn it's pretty swag and then now another thing with this new intruder mm update is the new and improved inspector gui and scene gui for activators so now as you can see here on the right in the inspector panel you can see that the activator has been divided up into three tabs which are triggers actions and options. Now, triggers are how, of course, how your activator gets triggered, and you have a lot of options here. Some of them require a box collider, as I have here in the demo scene. Uh, actions is what happens when your activator gets triggered. You can actually do quite a lot here. You know, play animations, stop animations, enable and disable objects, unlock doors, lock doors, make it a goal. And do it, make it so it sends a message to everyone or just the invoking player. You can also add some teleport locations. And then in the options here, this is um, activator specific options. So you can tell the activator which team can only activate it, if it can be redone, and if the activator is actually enabled. There's awesome, awesome stuff. Now, if you come and look in the uh, scene here, you can see that it's drawing a line to all the stuff that this activator interacts with and then shows you a little label below of the text which is fantastic so if you're a veteran map maker you'll know that activators are super super painful to work with and hopefully this update fixes all your problems and makes life a lot easier there's a lot to discover in this update and there's only more to come to keep up with developments as they happen join the official intruder discord at intruderfps.com chat or subscribe here on YouTube, or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash superbossgames. Until next time, agents, over and out.